I know that on camera your parent your parents appear to take your pregnancies well, but really how disappointed are they? Um, well, what you see on camera is their real reactions. I mean, they they don't like fake it for the camera or anything. My mom was disappointed at first, but she supports me more than anything, I guess. I mean, everything you see on camera is <laughs> what it is, like it's life. Are Lily and the new babies going to share a room? Um, not right now, obviously, because the room is too small and our room is huge, so like I said, they're going to stay here with us. When we move, we're going to hope and pray for a three-bedroom. If that doesn't work, a two-bedroom, um, then if we do get a two-bedroom, then we'll make sure the two-bedroom is big enough for all of them. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to babysitting with Lilia and the new babies... Alright, so I switched locations. I'm at my mom's house now. We're chilling at my mom's house. I'm going to finish up the last of these questions, hopefully. So I'm just going to start right back up where I was. Um, are you lactating from Lilia? And if so, um, are you going to try to keep your milk, your milk in so that's already there when the baby's born? Um, I don't think I'm still lactating from Lilia. I don't really know. Like, I don't really test it. If, if I am, then I'm not leaking or anything. And um, regardless of if you're breastfeeding or not, like, say I was still breastfeeding her, uh, when I had the baby, my colostrum would still come in and then my milk would still re-come in. So it wouldn't matter if I kept breastfeeding because it wouldn't be like my milk automatically came in because your body knows that the babies need the colostrum to build up their immune system and stuff. So, um, yeah, I would still have the colostrum regardless, but, um, no, I'm not pumping or anything to make, to keep my milk supply up. If you and Drake broke up, what would your plan be? Would you move back home? I, I probably would move back home. I don't really know. Like, we don't really have... Not, we're not really thinking about that, but um, I know I'm always welcome to come back home, but I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know. Are you still thinking of moving Lilia to a toddler to a toddler bed? Yes, we are, but not for a while. Are you, in, are you Drake or Gabe religious? Drake's Catholic. Um, I don't really go to church, but I, I would call myself a Christian, and um, Gabe is Christian. What will you teach your, your kids about God and or evolution? Um, we will, of course, teach them about God and... Um, as far as evolution goes, I don't know, I haven't really made any decisions on that. They're going to learn about it in school anyway, so I'm probably going to talk to them about it. I don't, I haven't, we haven't really thought that far ahead yet. Has YouTube given you the opportunity to do things that you wouldn't, ha wouldn't have other, otherwise had? Um, for example, moving out. Um, I guess in a sense, but like I explained earlier, um, I do earn my money, so, or I do feel like I earn my money, so um, it's just like having any other job, only... I get to love my job, and I do love my job, so, um, yeah, I guess, because it's just like getting a job. Are you financially stable for two kids? Uh, yes, we are, as of right now. We are really lucky when it comes to financial situations because of, um, oh, you drink a lot of that fast, Inky. <laughs> you drink that fast. We're all, we, um, like I was saying, we are lucky when it comes to the financial situation because we found so many good deals on everything, so, and we have so much support from our family as well. Will Gabe's family be willing to watch the new baby while they're watching Lilia? Um, I don't expect them to. Um, I don't think they'd be comfortable doing it anyway. Did you know that you were pregnant before you moved out? No, I had no idea. Uh, how did Drake's family react? They're happy now. How does it feel to be pregnant? Do you feel bloated, pressure, etc.? And what does it feel like when Lilia kicked in your belly? Um, to be pregnant, it, at first you feel bloated, and then... After you get past the bloated stage, you just feel really, really, really bloated, and your stomach gets hard. So, it's just really unlike any other experience. It's just like something you have to experience to know what it's like. And um, pressure, yes, you do feel pressure on like your lungs, your ribs, your stomach especially, your bladder. And when the baby kicks, at first it's like a little flick in your uterus, and then it, and it eventually turns into stabs and elbows and all kinds of stuff in your ribs and um, your bladder and all that fun stuff. What is it like being a first time mommy? It's hard, it's overwhelming, it's stressful, it's exciting, and it's all worth it. Are you going to use ExpectNet again? Um, if there's a way to do twins, then yes, I definitely want to do that. How are you planning on losing your baby weight after baby number two? Um, the same way I did with Lilia, I'm going to breastfeed exclusively and I'm going to go on walks and um, 
if there's anything that I need to do after that, then I'll do that. And of course, I'll watch what I'm eating and stuff like that. Uh, were you on time with your due date last pregnancy or were you early or late? What do you think it would be this time around? Uh, with Lilia, my due date was June 18th, 2010, and I had her June 18th, 2010. So I had her exactly on her due date. As for this pregnancy, I'm almost positive I'm going to be early because it is twins. So um, whether it's induction or... Um, my body just naturally goes into labor. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be early. <laughs> Come here, kinky. Look, look. Woo! Hi! Say hi! Hi! <laughs> uh, what do you think you would have done if you were pregnant with baby number two and still living with your mom? Are you playing kisses? Go. with the new baby um, or would you have definitely moved out uh, the baby would have stayed in my room for the first few months like Lilia did and then after we moved or after it got bigger if I decided to stay with my mom then yes they would have shared a room with Lilia her room was definitely big enough <sighs> what's your favorite pregnancy munchie food um, mm, right now I know it's horrible to say but I already talked about it earlier it's hot Cheetos I just love hot Cheetos and that's so bad for you. I need to stop eating them. But um, I've, I've tried to like limit myself. But I just love hot Cheetos. What are you most concerned? What's most concerning to you right now? Thinking about the future and having and having a newborn and Lilia to tend to. Um, my answer for everything is sleep deprivation. I think I'm going to go insane when I have absolutely no sleep. Are your dreams more vivid when you're pregnant? I heard that they are, however, that's never been like a main symptom with me. Have you ever thought about keeping the sex of the baby a surprise to see if you can tell on your own, like through dreams and such? Um, I would want to do that after I had a boy and a girl. I think that would be a fun idea to do. But uh, right now, I definitely want to find out. If it's a boy, are you going to make him a junior? No, neither Drake nor I or are a fan of junior names. And it's just our personal preference. What's my favorite movie? Lion King. I love the Lion King. Call me a kid, but oh my god, I can never get enough of Lion King. And I'm so excited for three days. So excited. Does Lilia ever have a flat spot on her head? If so, has it disappeared now? Um, yeah, I guess she did. I, are you talking about like the soft spot? Because yeah, all babies have a soft spot. And um, it's mostly disappeared now, yeah. Uh, last year I remember that you were watching Big Brother. Are you watching it this summer? Duh! I am so into Big Brother. Big Brother is like my favorite show in the history of the world. If so, who are you rooting for? Now that Jeff got voted off, I'm rooting for Jordan. And I know she already won before, but I just love her. I think she is the sweetest girl like on earth. She is so sweet. Um, who do you like? Who do you think is the least disturbing spot in the top six right now? Um, well, wait, top six? What is it now? I don't think it's top six now. Or is it? I don't know, there's a new episode on tonight, I gotta go watch it. But, um, I think Rachel is the least disturbing. Honestly, she just makes me really angry, and she just tries to push buttons, and she just, oh, she makes me so mad. <clears throat> just, ugh. Do me and Drake ever fight? Of course we fight. No relationship is perfect. But we're not, um, we, I mean, we don't, we don't, like, fight to the point of, like, I'm gonna kill you fight, but, um, every, everyone has their arguments, and nobody's perfect. You look really excited and happy, but do you ever think about the things that you're going to miss out on? For example, traveling. Um, I guess I do, in a, like, a little bit, but the way I see it is, um, I'm a young mom, which means I'm gonna be a young grandma, which means my kids are gonna be grown up, um, at a younger age than I would have been if I would have waited, which means I get to spend the whole rest of my life doing uh, stuff like traveling and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm taking care of, I'm just doing things a little bit out of order and I'm just taking care of the kids things, the kids first and then after they're all grown up and have their own kids, that's when we'll do stuff for me, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Are you regretting your tattoo? No, I'm not regretting it. Um, I think it's gonna have a heck of a journey though. You should do a hypnobirth. I've actually heard about that from one of the girls I watch. Um, I haven't really researched too much about it. So I don't know if I would, I don't know. Are you scared of crazies? Well, it says have people recognize you in the town you live in and are you scared of crazies? Um, I already talked about people recognizing me. Um, 
As for crazy people, um, all I can do is take as many precautions as I can to uh, make sure nothing bad ever happens. You got it, baby? But I mean, I'm, I guess I'm not, I'm not like scared, but I, I always have like my eye out because you never know. Did you do anything to get Lily to sleep through the night or did it just happen? Um, it just happened one day after I got her in her own crib. After a few months, um, it just started happening. Thank God. Are you thinking about doing a play group like where you can meet other mothers? Um, yeah, I have thought about that a little bit actually. But I haven't really looked into it too much. Do you have stretch marks with Lily or no? I have one on my stomach and I have a million on my boobs. Uh, is Gabe half Indian? Or is Gabe Indian? No, he's not. He's Mexican and Puerto Rican. <laughs> Will we ever see Gabe and Drake in videos together? Probably not. How do they act around each other? They're hardly ever around each other. Have they even met? Yes, a few times. Does your apartment have internet? Yes, we finally got internet like two days ago, I think. So yes, we finally have internet. Was baby number two planned or unplanned? Unplanned. Do you think your next labor will be shorter or longer? Probably longer. What is a good pregnancy test to use? Um, they're all the same, honestly. Most of them are, they all use the same stuff. So honestly, I think they're pretty much all the same. Will you ever let Lilia wear makeup? Yes, it's part of it's part of the stages of growing up. Just figuring out what she likes and doesn't like. Will you let Lilia make a YouTube channel if she's for, when she's 13 if she wants one? Um, sure, I guess. I just wanted to ask if you did the 3D imaging ultrasound with Lilia. Yes, I did. I'm planning, planning to do it with this pregnancy. Yes, I am. Um, and I was just wondering if you did, when, when is the best time to go? The best time to go is, for pictures is around 29 weeks. What happens to the umbilical cord after it's been cut? Um, well, the one that's attached to the baby falls off. And the rest of it is connected to the placenta. And it depends on what you... It depends on what you want to do with it. Why do you want to become a CNA? Because I eventually want to become an RN, and I think that's the first step to... Uh, I just want to kind of get my foot in the door to start the whole nursing thing. How did you and Gabe pick the name Lilia? I like the name Lily, and he didn't, so he agreed with Lilia. Is baby number two's name going to be as beautifully unique? And it's definitely going to be unique, I'll tell you that much. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? I'm pro-choice. Because I think nobody should be forced into doing something that they don't want to do. Is is the baby... Will the baby have your last name or Drake's? Drake's? And why? Because I believe that I should do that. <laughs> That's just what we agreed on. Are you going to have another baby shower? Yes, we are going to have another baby shower. What kind of double stroller are you going to get? I don't know yet. When do you find out the sex of the baby? Around 18 weeks is when we're going to do it. Um, when you tell us when you tell us the name, are you going to make the first letter an L? It's a surprise. Are you going to continue doing updates for Lilia? Yes. Can I say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Lilia's got hot cheese. Oh, yummy. Will you finish school by the time the second baby gets here? No. Well, high school, yes, but not college. How do you think you'll cope with having two, three children? I have no idea. How many days past your period do you take pregnancy test one? What are your favorite things to do with Lilia? Play. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to adopt kids from another country? Um, I think when I was little I did. What do you think your style is? Ca uh, classy, girly, dressy, or casual? Probably girly. Have you ever thought about getting a pet? Yes, I want one. Besides jelly bean. <laughs> What's yours and Drake's favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cat. Drake's is probably a dog. What are your favorite movies and TV shows when you get to watch what you when you get to watch, when you get to watch TV, that doesn't really make sense. Um, I like Big Brother, I like Teen Mom, I like 16 and Pregnant. Um, Lilia is chowing down on this cheese. Oh my, my god. She is tearing it up. Um, I like Toddlers and Tiaras, it's on right now. What else do I like to watch, Mom? What else do we watch together? Secret Life of the American Teenager. Um, movies. My mom likes to watch House Hunters. I'm kind of iffy about that one. Um, You're movies, yeah, movies, Lion King, The Little Mermaid, anything Disney. Um, like big older people movies. Hmm. Dumb and Dumber. How did you lose your baby weight? Breastfeeding and walking. Did you have any major signs other than missing your period when you first got pregnant with Lilia? No. What's the differences with this pregnancy than Lilia's? I was a lot more sick with Lilia's pregnancy. Now that you and Gabe are no longer together, has he ever asked you to stop putting up videos of Lilia? 
and or asked you not to talk about him in your videos. No. You live in Modesto, which is, pretty, which is a pretty decently sized town. Do you get recognized or approached by your viewers? I already talked about that. I uh, get recognized. I told him. I didn't tell him. I get recognized sometimes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Twice, right? Yes. Yeah, I told him about that. Um, how do they react to seeing you? Pretty casual, actually. She said, I asked because I went to Golden Corral. Or because I live in Modesto. Wait, hold on. I asked because I also live in Modesto and I went to Golden Corral on Saturday for... And she didn't finish it. That's where Drake works. Hey. I wonder if she saw him. She wears in Drake's horoscope. I'm Pisces. What's Drake? Do you know what Drake is? Wait. Drake's a Cancer. Lily is a Gemini, right? Yeah, you're right. And I'm a Pisces.